Turn 8 began with the Americans completing their encirclement of the lone Japanese battalion left on Guadalcanal. This unit is now completely out of supply and will steadily lose strength even without combat. Things didn't go much better for the Japanese unit that made it to their transports. A flight of TBF Avenger torpedo bombers showed up, and despite taking some damage from anti-aircraft fire, they sank the transports and completely eliminated that unit. The Americans have now eliminated four of the five Japanese ground units and need only one more to secure victory in this game, assuming they don't lose a battleship or aircraft carrier. Out in Iron Bottom Sound, AJ splits his fleet in two and sends his aircraft carriers back to the east keeping them a healthy distance from the Japanese ships he spotted. He sends his PT boats out to the edges of the map, still looking for the main enemy force of battleships and aircraft carriers. On the Japanese half of the turn, my patience with my submarines was finally rewarded when one of them maneuvered into position to launch torpedoes at the battleship USS Washington and scored a hit. The screening force that I sent to help the army escape was now out of a job, considering that the transports they were supposed to be escorting were forming an artificial reef off Cape Esperance. So I order them to engage the vanguard of the American fleet. I want them to attract as much attention from AJ as possible, even if they end up sinking. If they draw some protection away from his capital ships, that will help my cause. On the other end of the board, the Japanese naval airstrike works its way west, flying over the Florida Islands in an attempt to remain unspotted as long as possible. That brings turn 8 to a close.